I have a problem. I think I'm hooked on backing games on Kickstarter. Uh, today I got home from work and on my doorstep was Rising Sun from Cool Mini or Not. Um, I took a picture of the box, so how it showed up. Nice compact box. I did hear that the game mat isn't coming uh, yet. It's coming in a tube separately. Uh, kind of disappointing, but it'll be here. No, no, fa no problem. It'll be here. Uh, I went ahead and opened the box, and I opened each box and took tape off so that this would go a lot quicker. I tried doing it before, and it just got a little... Uh, there's a lot of stuff, and it was getting in the way. Like I said, I want to try and keep these uh, unboxing videos organic on my bench. Um, if something gets really big, I'll move it, but I think I can keep everything under here. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and open up Rising Sun by Cool Mini or Not. Packing out of the way. Uh, the first thing that was on top when you open the box is the Dynasty Invasion uh, expansion. And it was a great uh, introduction to what the rest of everything else is going to be in there. They do an amazing job with their box art, with their box material. Everything just kind of gets uh, set up. I'm going to go ahead and switch glasses too. I need to use my readers so I can see things a little closer. Um, now, these are some punch tokens and a card, some markers. There are plastic ones of these that come with... I paid for the extras to get the plastic stuff, so they're there. Uh, some rules for the Sun and Moon Clan. Uh, and these are the blinds, I think, when you play. I didn't... I'm sorry, I didn't really watch how to play it, but... Uh, these I think you set up in front of you as you're playing so you're kind of secret as to what's going on uh, behind your your little blind um, really cool artwork it's got Adrian Smith's drawings this this miniature that's in this box is just, I think it's one of my favorites in the whole set cool stuff and again the game set up to look sort of like Japan um, really cool stuff they came with this little uh, white sleeve around them really nice touch almost has a little Asian feel to that packaging and a box of cards miniature holders or miniature mark uh, bases markers and some tokens okay those are all there now inside here this is a lot easier with this taken off tape are some miniatures now I'm gonna go through all these I'm gonna do some highlights you got these barbarian looking dudes which aren't really barbarians I'm sure I'm gonna try and get this as close as I can um, barbarian guy. Typical Adrian Smith muscles. Hey, hate's going on right now. You should try and back that one. If you like Adrian Smith's artwork, check out Hate on Kickstarter by Cool Mini or not. I can't wait. I have the gra the first graphic novel. I haven't been meaning to pick up the second. Um, the cool stuff. Archers. Some really cool archers. The detail is just packed in there. I... I'm dreading even attempting to paint these. I haven't even started my other's box. I have so many to paint. I have a lot of Warhammer stuff as well to do. Um, if you like painting fabric, I highly suggest picking this up because almost every single one of these guys and girls are just packed with different layers of fabric and textures to go ahead and try and paint. A lot of metallics, a lot of golds, lots of reds, lots of bright colors. Uh, these wind-looking chicks. I think chicks. No. Yep. Some knives in there. Okay, really good. I'm gonna try not to look there again. This, oh, here's this guy. Love it. He's sitting on a little tree branch. I can get even closer. How close can my camera get? This is my second video doing uh, unboxing. I'm still getting used to my webcam setup uh, and how close I can actually get with it. Pretty good. Uh, focus. No, nope. not working. Okay, it keeps taking, keeps pulling in the background. Let's see. There we go. No. Nope. There we go. Sitting on a tree branch. That's such. The level of character design is just astounding. So here's some more. 
can maybe move this up, that might help a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Super cool. A little face in there. Blue looking dude. I don't know if you can see detail that's on his, his sleep roll. Nice little pattern in there. Cool stuff. Um, another guy riding a turtle. <laughs> Snapping turtle, no doubt. That's cool. Laying on top of a dragon or a snake playing a loot. Or I don't know what the name of that is. But that's pretty I mean there's I don't know if you can see this most of the miniatures are really well done uh, as far as molding and casting goes and they have a lot of they have weight to them they're not flimsy at all but there are some mold lines that'll have to be cleaned up if you really if you're just gaming with them psh, not a big deal at all but if you're gonna paint them this one's really cool He's got a rooster sitting up on top of his pack And I think this this is one of my favorites as well. When I went, remember I was back in, he's got this giant fish on his back with a cormorant sitting up here. I mean, look at that. That's just all levels of just brilliant design and character creation. So he's got a little deer. Keep it. All right, I'm gonna pack this box back up. We'll move on to some of the other stuff. Uh, how did this go? It's this way. And I'm wrong. It's this way. Oop, bent a sword. There we go. Okay. This stuff all back in. So yeah, um, I didn't get the art book. Uh, I wanted to, but I was kind of low on funds at the time, and I figured I'll be at Adepticon. And last time when I was there, I saw that they were still selling the art book to the others, and I figured I could probably pick it up there. Um, next in the box, these were kind of in there. These go with that, the Dynasty Extras. And inside there, I don't want to take these out, I just kind of looked real quick, um, are your markers, your team, your alliance markers that when you put them together. These are a nice, let me open this up. I have a nice feel to them. I haven't opened these yet at all. Hard plastic. So that you know which team you're allied with. And they fit together really well. They feel really nice. Nice metallic pastels. Uh, those go in there. And then you have these house markers. To go for for the sun and the moon clan so get that out of the way the cool thing well there's a lot of cool things in this box are the metal coins they have a nice weight to them they must be, and each one feels kind of like I, hope, I went ahead and sliced this open too earlier so i can get in here a little quicker not getting in there very quick right now open What in the world? Really? There we go. Whew. So each one of these feels about the weight of a penny, but they're made to look a little bit older. Looking pretty cool. Get up too close, it kind of the colors wash out. But yeah, that's a great touch. I mean, they didn't have to do that. Metal coins. That's pretty awesome. All right, next. Reaching into the box. 
Murakami Unbound. Look at each side. The artwork. That's some cool stuff. Let's go ahead and look at inside here. Got we have more rules. Has each one of their names. Let's take a look at them. Those are cool cards. They're about the size of a tarot card. It's pretty nice. Here we have cards. Let's take a look at the actual miniatures. Look at that. I should figure out who is who. I won't go through each name. This is. Fujin, God of the Wind. You can tell with all the that cloth blowing. That looks a lot rather. Nah, never mind. That's pretty sweet. This guy, he's got his drums ready to go. Who's that? Raijin. I'm not familiar with all of my uh, Japanese deities, so really cool. Let's see if we can get up a little closer. A lot of detail on there. Everything is packed with detail. Everywhere you look on each one of these figures, it's just non-stop textures and design work. This one's... <laughs> Like his face. But the cooler thing about this guy, he's got all these monster. I, they almost look like horses. They almost look like horse heads all around. Is that what they are? I wonder. I don't know. I'll have to look up some information on him, but lots and lots of cool detail in there. I mean, even the gauntlets. Get up there. Anyway. What else we got? Some coral. It's definitely an undersea guy. Got a little mad face. Why oh, so mad? In the back of that, just how oh, cool that is. Really great work. Of course, the garage kit figure painter in me would love to see these in large scale, but I, I couldn't even imagine the cost. Of trying to make something like make this level of quality with this many figures I mean even one of those just I mean one of those figures would cost as much as the whole game which yeah that's a, that's garage kits but I don't know it's a trade-off there for now uh, next thing what do we got the monster pack well, let's look all around the box real quick. That is what I was waiting for. The lady riding the spider. The person face. Let's see what's in here. All right. Monster pack. Chorogumo. I think that's how you say that? I don't know. Let's see what we got. Oh boy. Cards. Let's take this lid off. Excited to get my hands on these. I just went around slice tape. Oh, I missed a piece of tape. Look at that. That's 
on this side. This here. Let's see what we got. I'm coming back to that guy. Let's start with this. This tree. This tree has its fruit. The screaming faces. Almost look like uh, Samara from The Ring, if that's how you say her name, too. Lots and lots of faces. You know those roots. This is awesome. That's beautiful. Is that how that goes? Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, a dragon. This is a fire dragon, if I remember the box. Really cool. Yeah, just a little bit of flash that will need to come off. Let's get up there. Look at that face. <laughs> um, like I said, you just pull off some old stuff, but again, if this was done in red, this would snap in seconds. It's almost got to be made out of this kind of stuff. Which is almost, some of it's that hard, super hard vinyl. So other stuff feels more like plastic. But that's really cool. A lot of cool work in there. Like how his claws have gripped into that. Um, this is gorgeous. This is really cool. Come on, camera. Pop in there. There we go. She's riding a spider. They put a clear base in there to help support it, which is a great idea. Otherwise, this would just come apart. So that guy's face. Come back. Focus. There we go. The cool thing. Look at those. That <laughs> is a bunch of faces. Let's see if we can get in there. And then on top of our umbrella are two little baby spiders. That's awesome. That's very cool. All right. This guy. Look at that. <laughs> this feels like a hard plastic more than any sort of vinyl. Um, again, just a few mold lines that would have to be sanded off for painting. Only a face a mother could love. Um, and for painting, I want to check seam work. You'd have to putty that in to make it look perfect, but just scrape some of this even off. Great stuff. I, I, I'm so excited. So excited. I have this in my collection. And I don't know where I'm going to put it because others has so much. And I have a few other Kickstarters coming. I'll do that with... Uh, I'll do the same video thing with those when they show up. Um, the next... I, I'm still waiting for Evil Dead 2. I have a feeling I'm, I'm actually kind of worried about that one. It's the first one I've ever been worried about. The other ones I know are going to eventually show up. But we'll get them there. This was what the coins were tapped on. And here we go. The big boy. The box. Oh, that's heavy. There it is. Pretty huge. Um, you can see the side. See the size. See the back. Gives you everything that's in there. Um, I I don't know what to say. I wish I could get, and I'm sure they might. Who knows? Um, of this poster of this background or a nice framed print. Um, do a print like a woodblock style print of that would be just really cool to have. Um, if you're listening, anyone. Uh, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to kind of do this in pieces, I think. Um, there's a lot in here. I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, here's your rule book. Rule book has, of course, all the game components, game board, clan screens, shrine tiles. Um... A lot of cool stuff. Uh, basic concepts, how the game's played, which I don't know. And uh, there's reading. I hope one day I, do, I play this game. Uh, 
but yeah, the book's staggered with artwork. Um, lots of cool stuff in there. Uh, oops, bang that camera. That's awesome. What kind of hand is Adrian Smith? That's a, I mean, not sound like a fanboy, but God bless that man. Back from even the Warhammer days to all, all the stuff he's doing now with hate and just really cool, cool stuff. So here's what we have. Here's the plastic tokens. Not nearly as nice as the metal tokens, but you get them. Uh, cards. Cards. Maybe we should compare. And there's the difference. Put them all put those there. Uh, what do we have here? All right, let's go quick. Mm. Oh, this one I don't think I opened. Grab my just do exacto. And for anyone, I, if I anything I say in this wrong game, this unboxing video, if I say something's wrong, let me know in the comments or let me know things to improve these. I know people like to do a lot of fancy cuts and edits and all that kind of stuff. If that's what you want, let me know. If you'd rather have them just kind of like this, be great. Where's that tape? That last piece of tape. There we go. There wasn't one. All right. Wow. Um, you can see that. Oh, this is super cool. I keep saying super cool. I need to stop saying that. But you have this giant muscle guy. The Master Blaster style little dude on his shoulders. You have dudes wearing... There's a lot of severed heads in this game. There's heads everywhere. He's holding some heads. What do you see? Camera. I'm gonna work on that autofocus. Uh, he's got really cool guys as well. This guy. They all got some demon horns. Demons. We got some demons. Focus. So that's that part. I'll set that to the side as well. Let me get this lid back on. And cards in there. Plastic tokens. Let's do this box. What's in there? I forgot what's in this one. Oh. oh. Another tape. So, wow. Let me get this here. I'm going to go ahead and set this down here for a second while we go through these because this is awesome. All right, we have a pig guy. This might be, this, is, this has a lot of weight to it. There's only one thing I don't like about this. If you look at him from the front, that thing is square smack in his face. I almost feel like this hand is put on wrong. And I'm going to have to go back and look. And I don't know if it's so that it would fit in there. But this almost feels like it should be twisted around and he should be pointing it um, more forward. And I might see if I can fix that. If that can snap off and be... Yeah, it looks like it can. So I might do that. I just... I hate blocking that face. Look at that. I'm gonna go back and look at the original pictures because that just, that's, I don't know, it bugs me. Why hide that? Why hide that cool face? More heads. A belt of heads. More. <laughs> He's got heads in his beard and in his hair.
cool textures everywhere. You have smooth textures, rough textures, like dragon scale looking stuff. Gorgeous. Uh, let's put that there. Um, yeah. What do you say about that? I, I mean, hair, people with snakes coming out of their mouth or tentacles. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, this dragon. What can I, I should go back and look and see what it is, but it's your typical Japanese or uh, Chinese dragon. Sorry. Sorry. Japanese. Typical Asian dragon. I was just teaching uh, Chinese New Year stuff at work, so I have Chinese on the on the marine. We we're making dragons. Uh, I don't like the mouth. That's the only thing. Otherwise, that mouth just looks kind of silly right there. I don't know. Everything else on that is gorgeous. Yeah, putty work, fix set, fill that in. Flexible so it won't break. That's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I keep saying gorgeous, beautiful. New adjective time. Uh, let's move over to here. Look at this. Look at that weapon. So elegant. A lot of the pieces are very elegant. Again, a lot of fabric work that you'll have to paint, but skinny, elegant, very Japanese. Lots of little skulls everywhere. Little skulls. Focus. Yep. See him? That is cool. All right. Let's move on. This guy. Look at that face. That's your typical. <laughs> he looks. Oh my god, that's so cool. He's got. I didn't even notice this when we was when I was kickstarting. Let's see if I can get in there. He's got faces on his knees. On both knees. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, and like I said, heads everywhere, skulls. It's got four arms. Multiple heads and multiple head, uh, arms are always weird to work out because sh just its shoulders look weird and the way arms connect, but it's handled pretty well. Looks pretty good. That's beautiful. All right. What's this? Oh, a lion. It almost looks like a... It's got the body of a... Of a monkey. Almost like a baboon or something. But with a lion face. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> this is a painter's dream and also a painter's nightmare, I think. That is, I don't even know what to say. More heads hanging from his belt. Not only does he have his heads hanging, he's got bodies. Oh, I wish this was just, that needs to touch the ground. I need a rock to stick under there. So it looks a little better. <laughs> Look at that guy. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a really neat texture on his legs. Yeah. Fur. Tiny details. Let's get up on that face. Check that out. Awesome. Yeah. Back to him. All right. Did I get to him? I don't even know. Heads, yep. <laughs> Heads everywhere. All right, let's set this to the side. What else? We got the box. Uh, these were in with this. These are more tokens, more bases. This has, I think, your main figures of the game, your main clans. Go ahead and pull. I don't remember how these were. 
Um, I'm not going to go through all these, but what I like about this, look at those colors. That's nice. The, the colors they chose, I, I just, here's one of those hawk dudes. Or the, like, And some of the swords and some of the spindly parts are bent. Yeah, I think you'll be able to straighten those out later once they're out of the package. And you could heat them up and try and bend them back, back into position. Let's pop up. There we go. That's hard. A lot of swords, a lot of. Let's see what this is. Again, if you like painting fabric and clothing, this is a dream come true. That's all. There's so many flowing garments and dresses. And let's check this out. You got a fan. I think there's just so much going on in the background that's not rendering. Let's see if I get this. Yep. That's the trick. What else do we got here? Nice tall hat. That's the spear turn on this. The basket heads. Playing an instrument. Uh, some ninja looking guys. Some spear dudes. That turned out, that could be really bent and it's not. They did. That looks okay. Uh, what's on his shoulder? Can't even tell right now. Oh, it's like a mask. Hang on down. Is that your main guys? Let me uh, put those back in their box. And then there's one more box. I'm not going to open that because that's going to be a little crazy to try and show everything. So I'm going to leave that where it is. Uh, so far, absolutely impressed. This could have gone a lot worse as far as some of those pieces. Ah, I just dropped one. Go ahead and move this and do it later. I just want to show you your game board, punch out cards. Oh, and I get the game board did. The big playmat's not here yet. I said that before, but really looking forward to that. Put this down here. And in the box, the last thing is the Daimyo box. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Another. Look at that. That artwork is gorgeous. Uh, you got all the way around. You got... Let's see there. But... Wow, it's a cool box. Let's get in there. Let's see what we got. Okay, you have our Fox Clan blind. And then we have, oh, let's go through these. Cards, more cards for the five. Yeah, Fox Clan. Put those there. These have a nice feel to them. Nice and heavy. That's cool. Um, let's take this off. Ah, where do we start? Let's start here. Back this off again. Start here. Creepy looking guy. A witch with lots of hair. A cool witch it's a good witch uh, a cat lady for the furries not too sure about that one uh, looks like almost like a werewolf um, in a cloak seam running right down the middle I think you can clean up um, this one looks yep look 
little bent. That'll get fixed, but that's a huge blade. It almost looks like it's, yeah, bend it more there. Get that cleaned up. More heads. Severed heads everywhere. This guy's got a, I hope we can see it. He's got a great look on his face. Really cool look on his face. What else we got in here? Some gunners. These guys. And this is where it gets cool. Monkey King. Love that pose. Um, Panda, I'm guessing. Yep. That's a cool weapon. <laughs> it's a cool figure. We know who this is. It almost looks like they took Angiris, Godzilla, mashed them together with a little bit of the <laughs> the catfish butted. Uh, remember Spectre Man, the mole, half mole with the catfish butt. Me, just me. I'm the only one that watched Spectre Man. Okay, that's that's nice. That's, man, that's heavy. That's heavy. Let's get this in there. Snake with a person head. Very cool. Super elegant wings. I mean, that's just handled beautifully. Look at that. That. Nice. Another dragon. With two, uh, where are those coming from? Uh, what? Uh, either that's a statue or he's mashing another dog. That's a really cool. I like that dragon's face. I have to, um, yeah, there's some cleanup to do there. It's that scene, but there's snakes all over this one. I don't know if that, it looks like they're coming out of him, though. Yep, coming out of his heels, coming out of his legs. So each leg has a snake coming out of it. Sorry. Each leg has a snake coming out. It's a really cool piece. All right, that's that. I'm going to pull this out, but not open it because I don't want to have to deal with that. There's your ally pieces, markers. I'm going to flip it over so you can see the other things. You have the turtle city markers or whatever those are. I forgot. But yeah, that's roughly it. Um, hopefully that game mat shows up soon. And thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Let me know what I can do better. Um, I'll do these more as things come in. I also, again, have boxes of stuff that I haven't opened in years that would be cool to go through and, uh, just say, Hey, what's in the box? Switching back to my cool guy glasses. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later. That's rising sun. Take care.